Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is where you are, welcome back to another episode on the Annoyed Dad channel. Today, as you would have worked out from the title of this video, we are going to be looking at red mite and its treatment, as well as various other mites that might affect the birds at some point within their lives. How you deal with it, how you treat it, how you use the, the diatomaceous earth, how to get it into all those nooks and crannies and those places that you normally miss and how best to apply it. So it is middle of August here and our birds haven't had a treatment for a little while and I've started to spot a few little signs that there might be issues with some mites somewhere. First of all, I walk into their coop and I come out and I can be covered in little tiny insects. They're little tiny things, you can just about see them. They're not always red, they are sometimes white. And the reason why they are white and not red is because they haven't yet fed. Sign number two is that the birds will start to pull out some of their feathers. You can see we've got a young lady. Excuse me, young man, I'm making a video. Will you please stop scaring away the birds? Anyway, you would have seen we had a young lady. If I just go around the corner there, you can see her in the distance. She's pulled out some of her feathers. She's not too badly... Um, and like infested i have looked at her but uh we're going to treat them anyway so what we will do is we will pick up a bird and we will look at treating the bird first and once we've treated a bird we will then look at how we treat the coop and what we do within the coop what we use and different ways as to how we can apply it so let's leave those two to it we'll grab a bird and we'll go and have a look and I'll show you how to treat a bird, how to use the diatomaceous earth, what the diatomaceous earth is, and we'll go from there. So first up, let's look at the diatomaceous earth. And this is it in here. Basically, you can buy this in small containers from your local feed store, or you can get it in small containers online, and it is incredibly overpriced. Massively, monstrously overpriced. For a little container, for something like that, they'll charge you, I don't know, eight, nine, maybe even 10 pounds for it. And it's astronomical, because I bought this 25 kilogram bag for less than 20 pounds, just because I'm buying it in bulk. Yes, I have had it a few years. Yes, we had it up at the old place. Yes, it does last, but there's absolutely zero point in buying these little ones if you're gonna use more and you're able to store it. So the diatomaceous earth is literally just a powder, and it feels like a very, very fine, flower that's the best way i can describe it but if you look at it underneath a microscope it'll be like billions and billions of tiny little shards of glass incredibly sharp things millions of years ago this was creatures and they lived and then they died and then they formed this little powder so what happens is because on a microscopic level it is bits of bits of glass as the little tiny mites crawl over it they've got plates on their backs is how their bodies are made and this stuff gets in between them and it kills them basically and that's how it works so let's go and grab a bird and we will sh show you how to apply it to the bird right so we've got our girl here she's not very happy because she's just been caught and she didn't want to be caught so the way how you check for mites on a chicken the easiest place where you can check is going to be on their vent so flip the chicken over they never like that sort of thing. And just start to look underneath the feathers around the area of the vent. You want to get right down to the skin. I'm trying to show you on camera, but it's not the easiest of things to show with a girl who's, uh, who's got nearly perfect plumage. And basically what you're looking for is the vent, which is just in there. It's just in where her vent is. And then you want to look at the skin around it. And you're looking if you're able to see one, either lots of little mites running around, and you will be able to see them, or two, at the base of the feathers, there will be white eggs, and they'll be clinging on, and in really, really bad cases, you'll see lots of them. This girl looks all right, she doesn't look as if to have too many problems at all, and there'll be lots of them clinging on to the base of the feathers, and that is basically the eggs. So what we'll do with the chicken, is because we're going to treat this bird, just to show her as like a demonstration bird, um, you can treat her any way you like. You can put, excuse the camera just fall in there. Let's just get you back up there. 
There we go. You can actually place the diatomaceous earth into their dust baths. You can put it in their feed. You can put it almost anywhere. You can't, you would really, really struggle to overdose a bird with the diatomaceous earth, also known as DE. So what we'll do with this girl is we'll just take a small amount of the powder. So we've got a small amount of the powder and we're just going to put it on her back there underneath the feathers and just rub it in just like that now she will then move that around her body underneath her feathers as she goes around as she pluffs up and pluffs down that'll move around and that'll hopefully kill off any mites that are on her and within her that's it it's as simple as that if you've got a bad infestation redo it after a week and then again after a week and then again after a week and that'll then kill off all of the mites that are on the bird and the bird will be happy if you've got lots of birds you might want to go around and treat them all and you can do this just catch them do that and then move on to the next one okay let's move on and show you how we apply the diatomaceous earth in the coop now we're just about to go into the coop to apply some of the diatomaceous earth and we're going to use an application bottle to start off with now what you need to remember is that the red mite is pretty much a nocturnal creature it will hide in any cracks any crevices anywhere that it can during the day and then it will come out at night and it will typically go along roosting areas and it will move from one bird to the next bird to the next bird to the next bird and so on and they will bite the birds and they will cause them issues and it's not very nice at all so you need to try to get the diatomaceous earth into every crack and every crevice that you possibly can. So if we come into here, you see that I've already squirted a little bit up on the boards there. But where we've got like joints, we'll make sure we get it in there. Get it along the wood. Yes, this place does need a clean out and it's not due for its summer clean out because we do deep bed in. It will happen in a few weeks time. Get it absolutely everywhere. Squirt it in their netting. Um, netting? Nesting. You want it to go anywhere where a bird might go and a mite might walk along to get to the bird. So here we're just doing a small area, but you can put it on the floor and you can see I'm squirting it on. So that's one way of doing it. But what about the ceiling? How are we going to do the ceiling? Hmm. Right, let's go and get some other equipment. So the diatomaceous earth isn't water soluble. What does that mean? Well, if you think of like a cup of tea and you put in a sugar or two or three, then you stir it up and that sugar is then in the water and it's gonna stay in the water no matter what. Uh, unless you go through the big scientific processes, you're not gonna get that sugar back out of the water. Whereas if you mix mud with water and you have it in a jar of muddy water and you leave it on the side like that, What's going to happen? All the mud is going to settle to the bottom and all the water is going to go to the top. So as they split. That's the same as what happens with the diatomaceous earth. The diatomaceous earth ends up being suspended within the water. So what happens is that if you have a sprayer like one of these things here or anything similar, like I don't know if you can see we've got one up there, which is for the weed killer. You could clean that out and use that. Something like that, add water to it add the diatomaceous, give it a good old shake up, and then spray it. And you can spray the roofs, you can spray the sides, you can spray underneath, inside, outside, any way you like, and that'll apply the diatomaceous earth. Because what happens is when the water then dries off, it leaves behind the diatomaceous earth. And you may say to yourself, annoy dad, how do you know that? How could that possibly be right? Well, I can show you, because just here, you might be able to see there's a bit of a area where it's just a little bit clearer than everything else down there so i had stuff in my pump because i was doing this video the other day and i was pumping away and all of a sudden for some reason for whatever reason i don't know why it failed and it went boom and it just exploded everywhere i got covered in wet diatomaceous earth, earth stuff so if we look down here you can see where it all went along this pole here and that is all diatomaceous earth so any creepy crawly that goes along that is going to get the diatomaceous earth onto them but you can also see down here so this has all just been sprayed as if it were covered in diatomaceous earth all over the um tire there all over the side of this here and you can see it is all there and it's all coming off when you give it a bit of a rub but it had all been sprayed onto there 
and left on there and it leaves behind a diatomaceous earth and that's how you do it unfortunately i'm not going to do it today within the uh, within the coop itself but all you would do if you want to treat the roof is you would mix them up with some water and you would spray it just straight over the top there and that would apply it onto there water evaporates and it leaves behind the de simples it is a really really clever piece of kit so i hope you enjoyed the video i hope it's helpful to you because i do quite often get asked how do you treat red mite what do you do the main thing to remember with the diatomaceous earth is it is one brilliant stuff two if you buy it from your local um your local maybe like a chicken store your feed store anywhere else like that it's going to be overpriced they always overprice it because they can basically um and three you can't overuse it put it put a little bit in their feed it will help with the internal worms put a little bit on their backs as you saw put a little bit in their bedding put a little bit in their coops once a year if you want to do a big thing just to check to make sure that there's no more mites go around and spray everywhere like we said use a sprayer i'm not using that sprayer today because as i just explained i blew mine up the other day and that's one that i use for the chemicals for the pest control work and i'm not going to mix it up with de because ideally you want to keep one for your de stuff that you would use mainly for your de um, and nothing else so um yeah just go around and spray it you can't go wrong with it it's amazing stuff it's brilliant any questions leave them in the comment section below i'll do my very best to answer but hopefully this has helped you if it has in some way, please do leave us a like, leave us a comment, hit the subscribe button if you're feeling generous. And until the next video, thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.